and welcome to my channel and welcome to another Millie Mess video. Today I'm going to be depotting all of my Menagerie Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes and organizing them into an empty palette. I know, I know, don't worry, I'm keeping all the empty palettes in case I want to put these back because the artwork is absolutely stunning. I know that, but I really want to have some more matte single eyeshadow options and they do sell all the eyeshadows in these palettes as singles and I have so many beautiful shimmers from indie brands but not as many mattes so I thought this would be a fun way to add some more mattes. I did start depotting these already but the sunlight was shining directly into the frame and it was in the way and I didn't like the way it looked so I switched over. So sorry but you will still get plenty of depotting potting content and these are pretty easy to poke out thankfully i'm going to be using this brown sharpie pen to write the names on the back of the pans and i have this metal spatula kind of thing and you could probably just find it on amazon and i'm going to double speed most of this i will like chime in here and there but most of this will be double speed so if you're watching the video at double speed already it's going to be really really fast i did have one small casualty right in the beginning it was just one of the brown shades i think from the courtship palette i believe so you can kind of see that in the corner but that was the only one really and i'm not too worried about it
So now I'm gonna take out the shimmers that are in the MTZ palette to add them into this collection. And I'm gonna start separating the shimmers from the mattes. shimmers into this empty makeup forever palette i don't like this palette but it is one of the only ones i have left that are empty uh, it's really heavy and it's tin and i don't like that i can't see what's inside of it so they're most likely going to move somewhere else but for now we're gonna put them in there Next, I'm sorting the matte shades by colors. So blues, greens, purples, we have some browns, some reds and pinks. I'm placing those into the empty palette and as you can see they're not going to fit so what I ended up doing was taking out the shimmers and only putting all the mattes on into this palette I did try to kind of put them by color scheme but I'm not a person that really cares about making sure all the colors are exactly in the correct order color wise so I just have them kind of clumped together the greens on the bottom then we have some blues and the grays then we have like a little chunk of reds and beiges and, and the purples so that's kind of good enough
for me and I do want to keep the pastels separate so they are at the very top and of course the one last matte I couldn't fit was the black shade so I ended up putting that with the shimmers So I found this smaller Z palette. I think this is just a larger size and that's where I'm putting all the shimmers in. Again, trying to kind of organize them by color, but not too concerned for them to be exactly hue for hue. So here are all the single eyeshadows in the empty palettes and I'm really glad at all the different matte shades I have to choose from now when I build my own palettes and I'll probably reorganize these many times I might end up switching them into different empty palettes we'll see who knows what the future holds for these but overall I'm excited and now I also have some more space in my eyeshadow palette drawer and so these go into the drawer with my single eyeshadows so you can see in comparison here's all the palettes versus the two empty pretty large palettes and so that's everything for this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new to my channel i will be posting most days in december it's gonna be lots of indie makeup content there's definitely one more depotting video coming up so stay tuned for that thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you next time